Electrope everywhere one turns, harboring vast amounts of lightning. This place is very much alive. Kryle, try holding your earring to the terminal. No luck. Don't give up yet. The terminal reads the code. It might just need higher clearance. Gulja, would you give it a try? Me? If the King's authority is passed to you, then the gate ought to open. But I leave behind that which I've gained by the sweat of my brow. It... Remarkable. A void gate is forced open with a blast of e- In contrast, this is the stitchwork of a master. Neatly hemmed, without a thread out of place. A power to be reckoned with. But now isn't the time to marvel. If Galuljar can open the gate, then so too can Sveen close it. It would be wise to employ magics in its defense, both to maintain its stability and ward off interference. While I am able to invoke said magics, I cannot sustain them alone. I require another to channel with me, and in unison. For that role, I do humbly volunteer myself, but even our combined efforts offer no certainty of success. Might we prevail upon the two of you to lend your support? Of course. If coordination between mages is required, few would be better suited than Alizé and myself. Shall I remain as well? While your presence would be welcome, I'd rather you joined the expedition team. For despite our earnest efforts, the gate may well end up closed once more. In such a situation, it may fall to those on the other side to devise a method to reconnect our worlds. A task with which you are not unfamiliar, 
as I recall. I have faith it will not come to that, but should it? I will endeavor not to disappoint. So, assuming Wook Lamart, Kryle, and Erinville are a given for this foray, I'll make myself useful here by guarding those who are maintaining the gate. Should any threats emerge, from the world beyond or otherwise, I'll deal with them. As will I. Which leaves you free to head in there, and do what you do best. It's fine. Really. Mostly. <laughs> Just don't let her bear the burden alone, do you hear? Is done. Whenever you're ready. We'll protect the portal. Keep it open no matter what. Beyond lies an unknown reflection. Short of asking an Asian, we unfortunately have no way of identifying which one it is. Well, what we do know is that it's Sphine's domain, a place where she brings back those who've been lost. So for now, why don't we call it The Unlost World. Right, let's go. How to describe the sheer amazement we felt when we emerged on the other side of the portal? I fear words do not do it justice. Before us was a vibrant world where the memories of the departed abided and reveled in bygone days. Living memory, or so the Endless called it. How they laughed and smiled as they reminisced upon unfulfilled dreams, alive in all perceivable ways, yet knowing no loss. So resplendent was every ilm of this paradise, the words rose unbidden to my lips.
all this time, it was here, the city of gold. Fiend? Are you there? If you are, say something. We need to talk. Sphine. That you should come here. I haven't known you long, Sphine, but I know you have a good heart. Your love for your people is proof of this. I can't let you do what you're trying to do. And deep down, I don't think you want to do it either. I want a world without suffering. A world where nothing is lost. Would that such a place existed, but the Endless only grow in number, 
and ever more life forces needed to sustain them. Within the barrier, we have managed to curb the cycle of rebirth these few hundred years, but we've reached the limit. That is why I looked to interdimensional fusion, to harvest what we needed from your world. From your people. And with the key, we will have it. And once you've plundered our world of ether, what then? Will you do the same to others? All men eventually die. If you make endless of everyone, you will never have enough ether to sustain them. You but prolong the inevitable. Sveen, if you would nevertheless persist in this folly, we must stand against you. For we too have people we cannot lose, places to which our hearts belong. Lamachi, I would have loved nothing more than to work hand in hand with you to tend our nations. But fate is cruel. By the time it had brought us together, our futures had already been written. The kind and gentle Queen Sveen was too weak to serve her people, and so she will serve them no more. I will erase all memories of the living Sveen, she who has cursed me with this soft and powerless nature. Freed from conscience, I shall become a ruler that can protect Alexandria, a devourer of worlds. When two nations cannot protect their own without doing harm to the other, there can only be one resolution. It is a hard truth, but one you understand, don't you? I'm afraid we're out of time. The process has begun, and it cannot be stopped. Mesoterminal memory deletion in progress. Mesoterminal memory deletion in progress. Upon completion, interdimensional fusion will commence.